Well, welcome to day five of the World University Games Athletics program here in the Stadio San Paolo in Napoli. We get the day underway with the women's heptathlon. They've reached their fifth event of the seven, the long jump. And we can tell you that Mia Silman has the overnight leader with 3,646 points, but she has a very slim margin of advantage over the woman from Burkina Faso, Marta Kuala, who had a stunning first day from the Whitefield Business School. So there the camera's looking at Silman, who currently leads, resides in the gold medal position. But we're ready to go, and this is Heikkinen of Finland for her first attempt in the women's heptathlon long jump. Best of 5.85 that she jumped in 2018. Well, that looked as if it might get a red flag. Well, it gets the white flag. Thought she was close to the board there, close to the plasticine. Heavily strapped left knee. And it was her left foot, though, so that knee is strapped for a purpose. 596, and you can see a minus 0.7 win shown against that attempt. Koala in second position behind Silman. She's a 664 jumper from 2018. Fast on the runway. Well, there you go. That's a great jump. First jump by Martha Koala, the leader. 631 for Koala. Herta Heikkonen of Finland. Personal best of 596 into a minus 0.7 win. It's the time to take the shackles off and go for it. Well, she certainly did go for it. Good speed on the runway. A little bit clumsy in the air. Gets the white flag. 577. And the current leader, Silman, now has her second jump and no jump her first attempt. She leads by just 17. She's seen Koala go to 6 metres 31. She jumps immediately after her. So it's double pressure. Best of 627 set early this year. 618 for Silman. Damage li limitation exercise carried out and successful. Silman 618 may not be enough to protect that lead. She may need to go further, particularly if this. If Koala jumps further on this attempt. Well, that could be even better. That red line graphic that we saw on the sand indicates the best jump. And she was way over that. Great sprinting on the runway. 6.40 and a plus 1.1 win. So within the legal limit for this event. And Silman now having got that jump in on the second attempt can really go for this. She needs to. Silman of Filman, Finland, final attempt, long term. Well, she's on the board. Slap of the thighs means that she thinks that it may not be good enough to get closer to Martha Koala's jump of 6 metres 40. And the athletes, they know. So 6 metres, so slightly down on her best attempt, second round, 6 metres 18. This is the summary of uh, the women's heptathlon long jump. You can see Koala at the top with 6 metres 40. Third, Heikkonen. Silman, uh, the leader going into the long jump at 6 metres 18. That will switch. And then we have Group B joining this. 
here we have a summary of the positions so far. Koala went into the lead after the long jump. She's got 4,604 points. Silman, who was the leader, is now second in the silver medal position. And Heikkonen, her teammate from Finland, has moved into the third slot. We move on to the sixth event of the heptathlon. And the two groups have been joined up. West Australia first throw. And there we go. That's a new personal best for the Australian. Great throw from her. She's down in ninth position at the moment. And with the standard fairly low, she's going to take some places up the board with a throw like that. You can see head kept up. Sightline good. 52-28 for the Australian. So a substantial personal best. And not only that, but that is serious points for the Australian. Big smile. Clap of the hands. Well done to the Australian. So now we move into medal range. Fourth position overall, we have Caroline Agnew of Switzerland. Disappointing long jump. Good throw in the javelin. She's going to be happy with that. Just below 50 meters. 48-57 for Agnew. Now then. That's put the cat among the pigeons. Silman in silver medal position coming into this event. She's finished. They can throw, and she has thrown. What a great effort from the Finn. The night she threw 44.66 for a personal best in 2019, and she's just nailed. We call it nailed that point in good control. That head, most importantly, stayed with the javelin look very close 5007 Tori West Australia can she go further it's lined up nicely good flight oh and that could be even better nice and relaxed on the runway not too much speed you've got to be able to control it into that throwing position at the end the de delivery stride lined up nicely very good into the, the delivery phase. Keeps that hand up. Head position is kept nice and still. She had a best of 50-54 before this. Now she's gone 53-27. Australia, good throwing, 53-27. Three personal bests culminating in that second round effort there. Silman, wow, 50-07. The Finn, personal best by a mile. finale of the heptathlon where there is a real battle for the gold medal going on between Marta Koala and the leader Mia Silman of Finland two great days of competition all finished off with the two laps of this track we saw 800 meter semi-finals earlier this won't be quite so fast but then the others have not done quite so much again it's all about points pbs devoe has been leading since the start and is still there but now the mexican borja perez is making her move with around 250 meters to go excuse me You can see the Skylar Seaman is looking very tired now. Skylar Seaman 12th place after these six events on 4,214. Borja Perez is a couple of places above her on 4,563. And she's going to come away to take the victory ahead of Brigitte DeVoe, who is 13th overall. The woman who goes to university in the United States of America at the University of Massachusetts. So Borja Perez comes across the line first on behalf of the uh, 
SETI's University. Take the victory in two minutes, 15.5. Seven. Confirmation of that victory for Lillian Borgia Perez in the first heat of the heptathlon 800 meters. She finishes off the competition with a time of two minutes 15.57 ahead of the two Canadians, Devoe and Sieben. Mia Silman has an 82 point lead over Marta Koala, who has been a revelation in this competition. And she has stayed right in it, and Burkina Faso on the verge here of something great. This is going to be exciting. Is it going to be Finland, or is it going to be Burkina Faso to take the heptathlon title for 2019 here in Naples? Title should always really be fought for inside this Stadio San Paolo. Usually it's for football. Here, though, it's for athletics. And you can see straight away Agnew going off into the lead. There is Agnew. Looks as though bronze medal is going to be pretty safe in her pocket. She has a big lead at the moment. Martha Koala, though, don't think is far enough in front of Silman. It looks as though Silman will take this gold medal. Agnew, though, coming round. And she's beginning to tread water a little bit now. She's been really pushing it. She's so tough. Agnew's going to come across the line, or is she first? It's a real battle to the line here. Agnew is treading water and nearly gets there. Oh! Well, Heikinen gave everything. And I have no idea whether she made it or not. Agnew looks so good for, well, 750 metres of that, really. And then she, her legs just turned to jelly. 2.17.51 then for Agnew. 6,209 points. A new personal best for Mia Silman. And it means that she takes the title by around 90 odd points from Marta Koala. Really finished off in style. And Agnew getting 5,844, secured the bronze.